Serena says, uh, was an alpha tester and we were testing the pre-order weapons too. Er Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that pole fly across my screen? Like, tell me you guys saw that. That's some freaky shit. Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Adrian here. Welcome back to the channel and to this weekend's MMO News Drops. There isn't much going on within the established and big few that we play, but there's some stuff that's shareworthy and we'll get to that. I myself have done nothing but play The Division 2 all week since the early access launch and I'm having a ton of fun. More on that in a separate video, so let's get straight to the news beginning with EverQuest. EQ has turned 20 years old this weekend, which is an astounding milestone and accomplishment for one of the longest running MMORPGs in the world. Let me start off by saying congratulations to the folks at EverQuest, and of course, in conjunction with the milestone, in-game celebrations are kicking off. The most noteworthy of which are the two brand new fresh start progression servers that are going live today, Saturday, March 16th. The two servers are called Celo and Mangler, Celo being a fast progression server with faster XP and faction gains and monthly expansion unlocks, while Mangler is a standard variant that begins in classic EQ with old systems and expansions come every 12 weeks. This sounds pretty tempting for me as I've never played the first EverQuest and there have been some of you here urging me to give it a shot and I just might. I'm still weighing in between starting an Anarchy Online's progression server or EQs and since I've only got the time and money for one, this makes it a little harder for me. So if you're in my shoes, what would you pick? Besides servers, there's 50% bonus XP in game for EverQuest players alongside the returning anniversary content which ends on the 10th of May. Alright, let's move on to Astelia, the latest Korean MMORPG coming to the global stage this summer. Up until this point, we've seen a few previews in the form of cinematic trailers here and there, and of course, gameplay from the Korean version. And this week, the developers have released a sneak peek of the character creator for its warrior class, which is what you're watching on screen right now. Highlighting character creation is so five years ago, and not the system or aspect of gameplay I'd use to hype the game up. It's running on the Unreal Engine, which is what Bless Online and a few other MMOs uses, so make of that what you will, and hopefully we'll get more game and info drops about the Estelle Collection system, combat classes, and more pretty soon. Hey, looky here, what do we have happening in Funcom's Secret World Legends? There's a new seasonal mini event called the Envoy of Avalon going on right now until the 27th of March. Players can speak to the Druids of Avalon hanging out in Agartha and doing so starts the training scenario of some sort and you've definitely done one of those if you've ever played TSW or SWL in the past. And doing this event drops rewards like special loot including agent dossiers. I believe there's some mini lore tied to this event but that's all the info I've got from what Funcom has shared about it in social media. It's not not enough to get me back on the game obviously and I haven't played since the dawn of the morning light update which came out almost a year ago now and I'm still waiting for the game's next major update which either adds everything else that's still not arrived from TSW like the balance elite dungeons and other PvP maps or something new entirely. Speaking of something new I'm just kidding. Remember APB Reloaded that free to play GTA Online style MMORPG? Well, they've just announced this week that they are about to drop a new Battle Royale mode called APB Riot. This game mode has characteristics of a traditional Battle Royale with collapsing maps over time, but with a twist where teams of four face off and try and control a variety of points on the map to be the last one standing. Not very original, but I suppose both the developer and publishers are trying to pump some life back into the game and perhaps make some money. So. Yeah, there you have it. Another Battle Royale in an MMORPG, this time in APB Reloaded. And wrapping this up, there's some news over at ION. Beginning March 27th, the Eresh Kigal's Wrath update will go live and players will get to face off against the Queen of Ice for one final time. The story here is that another Jotun relic has surfaced and you must now prevent Eresh Kigal from getting her hands on it. The update will introduce new instances, new Deva skills, new transformations, GP competitive seasons, and more. 
so if you haven't been back on Ion for a while, this might be worth a look. And that's all I've got folks, if there's news that I've missed for a game that you play, feel free to share it with the rest of us in the comments section below. Do hit that like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more MMO news. Once again, I'm Jerem Adrian and I thank you for watching. Have a good weekend everybody. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching that video. If you guys want to watch more, you can click the subscribe button at the bottom there or somewhere over here. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notified on all my latest videos. So I'll see you guys at the next vid. Take care.